Hello, this is Britta Rao with Divine Essentials. Okay, we're going to do a collective reading so you can be any sign then and watch this. If it doesn't resonate, then maybe next time. I'm going to try to do the elements tonight as well, but I wanted to get one out for the whole collective because we got a lot of collective stuff going on, you know? And I do have my new Ocean of Emotion deck, and I did do a pick a pile with this, and I just wanted to let people know who watched that because um, I noticed some people didn't understand. So because this is a new deck, I wanted to be able to go through the whole deck. So I did a before, now, and after post, you know what I mean? So it was like the past, the present, and the future, and I used the whole deck. So if you resonated with one pile out of that reading, you should probably resonate with other parts of it as well. So um, people had asked in the comments like why I was referring to other piles when I was reading for one. And it was like, well, because it was probably your past or your future. So, let's dive in. We're going to find out what your person's thinking of when it comes to you. What is your person thinking of when it comes to you right now? Well, that's a lot, but I guess they could be having a lot of thoughts. The first one we have is beauty. Your natural beauty takes my breath away. So, the person that you're asking about, whether it's a man or woman, probably finds you to be very beautiful. And um, almost to the point where it takes their breath away, so they may find a hard time, you know, expressing themselves, or they may get a little like, you know, that that type of, you know, nerves where it's like, ooh, I'm nervous, and I I can't catch my breath, and you know, and I've been having a hard time with that lately myself, with my just my breath in general. I feel like, I don't know if it's because of the collective stress or the collective anxiety, but I've been having like moments where it's like. Ugh. And then we have faithful. It says, I know we will find our way back to each other in divine time. So I'm feeling like when this person thinks of you, they have like this, this sense that there's this beauty, that there's something about this connection that's different, that it's not like they have to seek it out. They don't have to run after it. They don't have to chase it down, that this is something, you know, that, that the divine is kind of orchestrating and that it's a very beautiful connection with you. So I feel like this person may just have the overall sense of like everything's going to be okay when it's supposed to be okay. And then we have, I want to give you more of me and I want more of you. So this person wants to go deeper into your connection. They want depth with this connection. They find this connection to be very beautiful. They find you to be very beautiful. So this is a very nice energy coming through. I also have desire. I miss the um, way you taste, those soft lips on my face, your warm embrace, everything you gave. Desire. So I feel like basically this person could really have you up in their, you know, thoughts at this time, like elevated up and thinking that you're just a very beautiful person, that there's something about you that they desire, probably miss because it says I miss you. So I'm f sensing that there's probably some distance between the two of you, maybe on a... Um, twin flame or a soulmate like a higher level journey especially having the faithful come through there and with this loyalty it's like forever yours again I feel that this person just knows on some level of their being that whatever has transpired they intuitively feel that they can trust you that they can trust that this will come back together when it's supposed to but I do sense that they don't like not knowing what's going on with you so if you um, haven't been speaking to them for a while or they, they just don't get to see like what you're doing or what you're up to uh, maybe you've blocked each other on social media or maybe you just like I said haven't spoke to each other in a long time they don't like no, not knowing what's going on but they still have that inner knowing that like eventually things will be okay I miss you you're very beautiful I know that the universe is conspiring in our favor I want to go deeper with you I know that there's this like ultimate loyalty that forever will last between us but I do feel that this person is not enjoying the fact that they don't know exactly where you're at and there could even be almost a sense of denial with this person too because I was picking up for some of you you may have blocked the person um, or you may have pushed the person away in some degree and or they could have pushed you away you know like there could be that denial where they feel these things with you but they push you you know like they want you, they miss you, they think about you, they feel this like divine thing about it, but that may kind of make them be like, I don't know, like let me block this out, let me self-sabotage, let me push this away from me, and I feel like with that energy, they're probably also kind of kicking themselves in the ass because say they blocked you or they pushed you away, now they don't know what's going on with you, 
and they actually feel this deep connection to you, which I do know happens a lot in these connections where it's like they want it, they miss it, they love it, but they also deny it. So it's like those illusions are there. There's something going on around them. Um, there could be like third party situations. Maybe you're married and so they got pissed off and blocked you. Um, or maybe they're married and like, you know, they had to kind of protect that marriage or they could even just be busy working. So they're like, I don't really know what's going on with you, but I know when things slow down in my life or when things slow down in your life, I'll be able to kind of connect with you because I know I can fix this. So I think, I think this person really does care about you. I just feel like there is some sort of distance between the two of you. I also have the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Death card. So with these two, this is my temperance type of energy. Whenever I have two of like a kind, you know, like, like these are both Aces and it's the Cup and the Wand energy, I always feel like it's that energy of temperance where the passion is there, the love is there, and so there is a balance. It's not just about the desire. It's not just about the love. Like you guys probably have a magnetic sexual attraction to each other. You have a beautiful unconditional love for each other. And um, I do feel like this person's thinking about having union type of experience with you, um, a new start with you, because this is what this is about, is a fresh start, a new beginning in love or a new beginning in passion. Um, this can also indicate new love and this can also indicate a night, you know, just one night of passion. Like, so it could be that they just want to spend one night with you or that they just want to, like I said, come back around into your life to see if they can fix this. Um, they could be trying to like get through these illusions that they are dealing with and just because it's like I can't accept it all. Like, I, I feel like they have a hard time accepting the intensity or the like magnitude of this love or the magnitude of this passion and this love that you guys share with each other. Um, and they may again do things that don't always seem to be what they appear like to you. You're probably like, well, they blocked me. Like, obviously they don't think I'm beautiful. Obviously they don't care about me. They're not thinking of me because they're running from me, you know, but I feel like they're just guarded and fighting this because it's, it's overwhelming to them. But usually in that time where they're pulled back, and you know they're giving that space and they don't know what's going on with you that gives them the time to tap in and to see things from a new perspective so it says i've found the wisdom needed to change my perspective so if they were guarded and blocking you whether it was physically like blocking you um social media blocking you or just pushing you out of their life I do feel like there's been some sort of transformation around this person or there is going to be some sort of transformation like their thoughts are transforming in regards to you and they may want to message you because these are the messengers. So the pages are the messengers, this is the page of wands, this is somebody that may want to get creative in the way that they message you or reach out to you to see what's going on in your life. I also have the hermit. So I feel like this person, like I said, is really reflected on this. Even though you're not speaking, even though you're not seeing them, this person's really thinking about what they want for their future. Um, whenever I see the hermit, I think of this as like the star, which is our wishes coming true. It's like what we want for our future. And on the bottom of the deck, I do have the two of cups. So I think that they have reflected on this partnership. They're thinking about it a lot. They're thinking about you and they may see you as that queen of wands who would be, you know, the perfect person that the page would want to approach. Um, so even though there's been difficulties, they may not be ready to give up on it because that's what the Nine of Wands is about. It's about somebody that has been wounded, you know, it's been difficult, but they may still want to come approach you and they may get like that fiery passion of the Nine of Wands to come in. Now with that, you may want to be nervous. I mean, not nervous. You may be nervous, um, but you may want to be careful and, and keep your guard up because I did pick up for some of you, there could be a person that you know, is missing you on this level of like wanting to have a new start with you, wanting to have a night of passion together. Uh, but that may be all that you get, you know, like they may still have some secrets or they may still have some, you know, unconscious fears. They may have a hard time accepting the gravity of all of this, but they may be feeling like that desire to come towards you to have, you know, some freaky deaky stuff going on, but they could still have illusions, you know, the seven of cups here that are that will be causing a little bit of issues so you know things may not always appear as they seem I feel like that would be like this person showing up and you're like oh my god they're back we're gonna things are gonna be good and then you know their fear could stop them or block them from actually 
you know, pursuing this any further and maybe you do have a night together and, you know, things feel like they're going to be good, but then they could go right back to blocking off again or just kind of running from you. Um, yeah, so we have, like, do you trust me? I feel like you'd have a hard time trusting this person. So this may be stuff that's already happened between the two of you. You may be loyal to them. You may care about them, love them, and all of that. But after being blocked or after, you know, having someone come and go like that, it can be hard to trust. So I feel like for some of you, let's find out. Let's find out. Um, is this person going, like, are they just going coming at you with the passion of the Knight of Wands? Or are they going to kind of play you like a Knight of Wands? So let's see what the intention is of this person. What is the intention of this person? What is the intention of this person? All right. So I've got the open card, uh, but it did come out upside down. And it says, I'm, I'm afraid of opening up my heart again. So I feel like because it came out in reverse, this person may have had some time to heal. Because on the bottom of this deck, I do have the Four of Swords. So in this time where things have been quiet between the two of you, um, they could have really like reflected on stuff. They had time to think about this stuff. Now they may be wanting to reconcile with somebody that they see as their destiny or they see as a wish fulfillment. Yeah, because even under that is the Six of Cups. So this is that energy of reconciling, you know, past life lovers, um, the inner child, you know, wanting to celebrate and have fun, seeing you as that wish that the hermit, you know, reflects upon. So I feel like for a lot of you, they do have good intentions. They may have had some time to really transform who they are. Like I was saying with the um, death card, I feel like this person may have really helped I think like whatever time apart from each other you've had has helped them to tap into their intuition. But I do sense that for some of you, you know, there's, there's still like that sense of secrets and there's that sense of, I don't know if I can trust you. So you may be afraid of letting them back in when they do show up. Um, but I feel like this person's been isolated for a while or even just isolated from you for a while. And they could be a little bit depressed right now, thinking nobody cares, nothing matters anymore, I give up. So there may be something, you know, that's blocking them from showing up too, because I'm seeing over here it says limited, there's nothing I can do about it right now. So it feels like that could be part of their denial as well, is that like they know that this is a divine thing, they know that there's all this love here, but maybe something bad happened between the two of you at one point, and now they feel like you don't trust them, and because of that they're limited. There's nothing they can do about it, nothing matters anymore, and, you know, nobody really cares about me. But I feel like you know the truth. You know what I mean? It says, I know you can feel me and you're inside my mind. You know the truth I've been trying to hide. So I feel like you know that this person cares or you know if this person only wants you for one thing or another. I just think that you intuitively have that. I mean, you may have anxiety about it. You may wonder, like, if, are they ever going to, you know, come towards me with more than just some, some freaky deaky stuff? Are they ever going to come towards me to admit that they care about me? Um, but it feels like right now they're holding themselves back to due to this fear of being seen. It says, I'm afraid you're not going to want me if you see the truth. But they also know on some level that you already know the truth. It's like you know what they're what they're holding back and what they're hiding from you, which I feel like is their feelings for you and that they've probably blocked you and stuff like that or like just push you away. They don't have to block you like on, on you know, Facebook or Instagram or whatever. But I feel like they've blocked your connection. They've blocked themselves from allowing it but they also want to approach you. And I feel like their intention, if they did approach you after this time of being away from each other, is actually of a good intention, um, but they're still holding themselves back because they don't want you to see who they truly are. You know what I mean? So it's like you know the truth of their feelings, but you may they may feel like you don't know the truth of who they really are as a person, that they have like this burning rage inside of them, that they have all this anger inside of them. It says, all the anger I hold back is burning me up from inside. So they could have like all this fire energy coming through because of that. So let's see what else is coming through. Yeah, so I've got um, desperate. I can't do this anymore. I feel like this is for the, those of them who are married or in a karmic situation right now with somebody that's very manipulative. Feels like it says, it says, I know what you want. I feel like somebody's been manipulating them either like sexually or just, you know, manipulating them financially or manipulating them in some way. And that's probably why this person's like, I can't do this anymore. I'm filled with fear, filled with doubt. I'm filled with regret about being where I'm at. And whoever this person's with, whether it's a man or woman that you're asking about, I don't think it has to be a woman that's manipulating them. I think somebody is manipulating this person and making them think that they're not a good person. So even though they've transformed and maybe like before, if they were married or they were with somebody, 
and they had nights of passion with you, you could have looked at them and been like, that's all I'm ever going to get from this person. They're never going to actually leave this other per person away or they're never going to give me any more love than what, what you've got from them. I feel like they want to and I feel like they're sick of being wherever they're at, but this person has made them really feel like there's something wrong with them, even though they've transformed and they're no longer wanting to just give to you, you know, have you be like the side person or have you be like the one that they, you know, want, but they stay here. I feel like they're going to leave where they're at, but they're holding themselves back too because they don't feel like they're good enough that this person that they're with has made them feel like, you know, they're just inadequate or whatever. And that may be why they're really missing your warmth and your love because, they see you as somebody that's not going to be like that, like that's not going to be mean to them, somebody that's not going to like look down on them or give them those ultimatums or try to manipulate them sexually. So it feels like they do want to come towards you. They want to leave behind whoever or whatever it is that's made them feel like they're not good enough because this could also be like addictions or this could be like their own inner stuff like you know, whatever they grew up around, if they had like a, a lifestyle where their parents made them feel like they were inadequate or teachers made them feel like they were stupid or, you know, something could have happened along the ro road to here that has made them feel something or somebody along the way to here has manipulated them. So whether they're single or with somebody, I feel like something made them feel like they're just not, not good enough to have something. And also the distance that has been created between the two of you is not helping this person at all, which I feel like they're the ones that created it. But in doing that, they sabotaged. Says things aren't always as they appear again. So I feel like, um, by the way, if you were to buy this deck, um, this is supposed to say, um, I can see beyond the smoke and mirrors now. So I do feel like the person seeing beyond the smoke and mirrors of this, but things aren't always as they appear, like in regards to why they did what they did with you or what they want with you or what's going on inside of them. Like they may look great. They may have nice things. Like if you were to look at them from the outside or you look at their social media, you may not notice, you know, that they have all that darkness. But I feel like whatever happened here between the two of you, if they chose another person or they chose to stay with another person, they basically self-sabotaged. They defeated themselves and they block themselves by maybe even choosing to have the single party life, you know, keeping their options open and pushing you away from them, they could be now like, shit, I pushed you too far, or because of what I did to you, I don't deserve you, I, and I'm afraid if you see who I really am, you're not ever going to really want me anyways. So this person could be on the side looking at you, thinking about coming towards you, but they're basically not doing it at this time. They're just kind of um, held back. They may want to apologize to you too, but I feel like there's a reason why for some of them to not apologize. Like It's not that they shouldn't or that they don't want to. I think that they just are afraid of it. I think they're afraid that you're going to, you know, see them in some certain way and that's going to cause a tower moment for them. That Like all of a sudden you're going to be like, no, you're not good enough. Like you're, something's wrong with you. So let's see. How does this person feel like in general right now? So I've got... I miss you and your warmth. So like I was already saying, I feel like this person does miss you because you're warm. You know, like whoever they're with or whatever they're with right now, whatever they're doing, they're lonely. Okay? And with this energy, it says, love scares me because it scarred me. That's exactly what I was just picking up on is that this person has regret and doubt and fear because of, you know, either the persons that they've married or the people that they've dated or the like people that have been in their life that have hurt them. It doesn't even have to be love in regards to like romantic love. It could have just been love that made them feel lonely. Like, um, what's his name? I can't remember his name, but there's a certain person with a quote that it's like being alone, it's like you can feel lonely even if you're surrounded by the wrong people. And I feel like that's what's happened to this person is that they've always been surrounded by the wrong people, um, whether it was romantically or friendships or just, you know, even family members, something that's caused these tower moments in their life. Um, but it's okay to go through tower moments because that means that the foundation was built on something that's shaky and not good. So this person does need to tear down whatever it is they're living in so that they can have this balance. It says, I'm really trying to find a balance in life and love. So I really think this person wants that, but they are suffering through some emotional stuff right now. But when they think of you, they're like, I just know that like something's going to be good. And like, this isn't a, this is a beautiful connection. So I think that you could be dealing with somebody that kind of like knows this stuff, but feels like back and forth a lot, you know? It's like they see this as ultimate fulfillment, 
but when it comes to actually like showing up, they block themselves from it. They keep themselves on the outside in this Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands energy where they like push it away and they choose to be left in the cold and they choose to keep themselves guarded and protected. But at the same time, looking at it as, wow, that would be really nice to have, but I don't deserve it, so I'm going to block it and I'm going to push it away. And it could even be, be doing due to codependent behaviors. You know, this is the type of emotional stuff that would happen with somebody that has addictions or somebody that has like an actual mental thing going on where they're like depressed or bipolar or, you know, got anxiety or depression. Something's going on for this person that, that keeps their hands tied but that they do want balance. And that's why I was also feeling like with the bipolar thing, it's like they may not be necessarily bipolar, but they may have like split personality, you know, when it comes to this. Like, I think it's going to be great and everything would be amazing. And that's like my ultimate fulfillment. That's my wish come true. But instead of me going there and giving my cup to it, I'm going to push it away and stay frozen over here out of fear or out of the fact that people have told me I don't deserve it. So I'm going to choose to believe that and I'm going to choose to kind of, you know, focus on myself and desire it and see all this beautiful stuff. But I'm just too anxious to, to go towards it. So this person's really been beaten up, I feel. And because of that, that may have caused them to do things before that weren't so nice to you. But I, like I said, I feel like they've been transforming. So they may still have the anxiety. They may still be hurt by things of that, that they've experienced. They could have even been hurt by you. And that could be holding them back and making them feel nervous to approach you because they may see you as this, but they, you, they may feel like you are the one that owes them an apology for something specific. But I think if you just give them time to go through the rest of their transformation, they will become like the best version of themselves. They just got to get through this. They got to stop, you know, with the anxiety. They got to stop and allow themselves to sleep and allow themselves to eat and just find their inner peace and get rid of the stress. Um, so they may actually need help right now because that's very interesting that it's like, you know, like they're becoming the best version of themselves, but they may need help. They may need to, for some cases, they may need to like get mental health, for, you know, professional to help them with like medicine. For other people, it could be that they need to go to like a rehab for drug abuse. For other people, it may just be that they need to like, get like help in their, their work. You know, for some of you, it could just be that they're really like stressed about money and stressed about their bills and stressed about, you know, taking care of like their family and all of that, which I feel like they do want to work to fix this with you, but they are just too stressed and too distracted with whatever's going on around them to find that balance between work life and love if that's what your thing is um or you know if their thing is money they could be like you know maybe this person only sees me as like this ultimate person that you know once they realize that i'm struggling financially won't want me or maybe they see you they think you see them as this like big amazing you know executive office runner dude and as soon as you get with them you realize that they're just like a you know file pusher or whatever like whatever you call it I feel like they have some sort of insecurity about themselves that causes them anxiety and also makes them feel like they can't have balance between the two things, but they want it and they do need help. So it's going to be different for each of you, but I definitely feel like this person does want to have temperance, which is union. You know, that's that again, that energy of the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands coming together. So this is my yes union energy, but it takes time. And the next one underneath that is the Knight of Pentacles. So it takes time for this person to get through this. It takes time for this person to get grounded, stable, loyal, and committed towards their union and to, you know, either come in with their vulnerable love offer or come in with their apology and say, okay, I'm ready to choose you. I'm ready to take action. I'm ready to communicate with you and, you know, give to you what I've been working on all this time, which I do feel like for each of you is going to be different what they've been working on, whether it's been actual work or whether it's been, you know, self-help or whether it's been getting rid of addiction or getting rid of a person. There's something that this person's working on, but when they show up, they're going to want to work together with you to build something sacred. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is go deeper into this on Vimeo, and if you have been resonating this far, we're going to find out what are their deeper desires with the deeper desires deck, so some of the like more mature stuff, the adult stuff, but there's also like things in here like um, cuddling and protecting and traveling and stuff, like there's, there's a mix. So we're going to see what their deeper desires are, we're going to find out what they have to say to you. Um, and any possible like chakras that need to be healed, any type of stuff that needs to be worked on right now, um, any type of blockages that you guys could have when it comes to this connection, because if you're energetically connected to them, 
and something's not going right, you can help them along by doing your own work and by like intending to send it to them, you know, so we're going to find out what you need to do there. And then, um, are they going to take action towards you, you know, and if they do, how is it going to go? And then what's the outcome of these next eight weeks? Okay. So if you want to join me, I will be using a couple of these different decks over there. Um, the masculine madness will actually help us to figure out some of this like sadness and stuff too. And yeah, in Munay, namaste.